Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some Mirror's Edge. Uh, this is a game that I really, really loved back in the day. It's pretty old at this point. It's from 2009, and I last played it in 2015, but we're just gonna play through it, because I like it. It's pretty short. Um, basically, your Faith, who is a runner, uh, who is a person who is delivering packages in a fascist city, essentially, and you've got to run away from the cops and stuff. And it's kind of a 3D platformer played in a first-person perspective, which is an unusual type of game. Um, they put a lot of effort into making it work, because in theory that idea doesn't work. <laughs> uh, so we're just going to dive in, start a new game. Uh, it's a pretty short game, so it probably won't be too many videos. We'll see how we go. Uh, let's see... I think I played on easy originally, but eh, we can go with normal. I think having my face over here should be fine, by the way. Uh, if I recall correctly, this game doesn't really show any hard elements in this corner. But we'll have a look. Loading chapter. Oh yeah, the cutscenes are these neat, like, uh, the city used to pulse with oh, shaded sort of things. Dirty and dangerous, but alive and wonderful. Now... It's something else. The changes came slowly at first. Most didn't realize, or didn't care, and accepted them. They chose a comfortable life. Some didn't. And those who refused to conform were pushed to the sidelines. Criminalized. They became our clients. We call ourselves runners. We exist on the edge. Between the gloss and the reality, the mirror's edge. We keep out of trouble, out of sight, and the cops don't bother us. Runners see the city in a different way. We see the flow. Rooftops become pathways and conduits, possibilities, and routes of escape. The flow is what keeps us running, keeps us alive. Yeah, the cutscenes all kind of look like that. Yeah, I know you hate it, but that fall took you out of commission for a while. Now you're back, you gotta keep sharp, especially in this city. Check out these new training grounds, pretty slick, huh? So let's not run around, dude. So get to her and just go with the flow, okay? I am noticing that uh, some of the subtitles are being covered by my face. Uh, so I might just move my face around a little bit and see if I can address that. Uh, let's see, put it on this corner. Uh, I can probably crop it a little bit as well, make it a little bit narrower. There, yeah, that should be fine. Okay, uh, that's probably better. Back to the game. Okay, so yeah, this is the tutorial. It's pretty straightforward. Jump. Crouch. Tab. Tells us what we're supposed to be doing. Runner vision shows you movement, interactive opportunities, keeps your eyes open for red objects. The training is kind of annoying. It's not too complicated. You can see, yeah, that object is red. That means it's being highlighted as a path we can take. There she is. Get after her. Hi, Faith. Welcome back. Hey Celeste. Think we'd be seeing you so soon. He's cute. Hello Celeste. So yeah, um, the whole game is played in first person like this. We are Faith, and we can check out our shadow if we want. Like, unlike most first person games, we do have feet. Uh, we have, you know, a whole body. <laughs> And yeah, this is just training us to basic moves and stuff. It's not too complicated. Oh, that's a low obstacle? Okay. We can skip the tutorial, but I'm just going to go through it just so you can get an idea of what moves are in the game.
Here we go. And yeah, while this cutscene's playing, we can't actually move. We've got to wait for Celeste to get in place. Hear my keyboard. <laughs> okay, we just shimmy our way along the wall here. Zip line. <laughs> I think we're nearly at the end of the training, then the actual story begins. Okay, so the combat in this game is kind of clunky. Uh, that's sort of deliberate, though. Because you're not really supposed to fight most of the time. Yeah, you, you're meant to like work your combat moves into your movement um, in order to keep your momentum because a lot of these attacks are better if you're going faster. All right, Faith. Let's run through some weapon disorders, just in case. Remember what I taught you, Faith. Isolate them. Fight them one at a time if you gotta fight. And yeah, we have a bit of a slow-mo mode. Which we can use to try to disarm more effectively. Uh, I don't use it much. Okay, that's enough training, ladies. Gotta get to the real thing. Hey, Mark. Good job for yourself, so check in with him. Faith, let me know when you're ready to get going. See you later, Faith. Thanks, Celeste. Let's play the game. So yeah, that's the training mission. It's essentially not much of anything, but yeah, is the actual intro to the game. Electronic Arts published this. A dice production. Uh, I believe these games weren't on Steam for a while because Electronic Arts made them, or published them anyway. DICE actually made them. Mirror's Ed. I'm not depressing anything, by the way. This is just like a cutscene. Just to kind of show off how majestic the game looks. Automatic. 
let you know when I actually get to play. <laughs> Financial District, 1.58 p.m. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure the now I'm playing. But once you finish showing off, you think you might concentrate on some actual work? Get Celeste in position for a handoff. You need to get the delivery to her. She'll be near the communication tower ahead of you. Okay, the game mentioned this already, but if you press Alt, you look towards where you need to go next. Communications tower, I believe, is that red one over there. But yeah, we want to go this way. to vault that but it didn't quite work. Okay, let's get into prison. Let's get moving. Uh zip line springboard. And yeah, um kinda getting into the game now. Use one of these balancy poles. Not too tricky. That always happens regardless of how quick you are, by the way. I'm gonna climb up here. Generally you wanna head for the red door whenever there is one. You can just bash it open like that. Wires are fizzing about you, Faith. Sounds like some blues are headed your way. Loose chopper tipped them off. Blues are the cops, by the way. You do not want to get caught by the cops. <laughs> Bags are hidden in stash points for collection or discarded by runners in trouble. A runner glyph on the left will indicate a stash point is nearby. Yeah, there's 30 of them in the game. We're going to hopefully find them all. I may not remember where they are, though. We do get a level select. Always try to get away from hostiles. Yeah. The game's warning us that because when we drop down here, there are going to be some hostiles. Just get the hell out of there. And we're going to want to get away real quick. Wires are going crazy. Get out of there. As long as you keep running, you're usually fine. I'm patching Celeste. You there, Sal? Gunshots and that bird seems a little too curious. Face on our way. Get your ass ready to go, 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 go. That's gonna slow us down. Enemies you need to get through a marked red with runner vision. Fight them or run past them. Yeah, you can see these enemies have like a red marker. You can mostly just run past them. Uh, there is another runner glyph there, so let's have a look around and see if we can find the bag. Maybe around here? Nope. I don't think I found all the bags before. Yeah, we can we can do that to just get them out of the way. Um, on top of here. No? Hmm. Maybe back here somewhere? Yeah, um, hun hunting for hidden collectibles in a game like this doesn't make a whole lot of sense because of the way the momentum works. I haven't played it looking for all the collectibles before, but I figured since we're on camera I probably should. Um, but I'm not so sure it's the best idea. Also, uh, the color goes away from my vision as I take damage. There isn't like an actual health meter anywhere. And I automatically heal. Here's the bag. I don't want to miss any. Hmm. Yeah, we're being shot at by the cops, so, um, 
Let's just be a bit careful here. See, that's the runner marker just there. I'm not seeing the actual bag anywhere. Is it in here? Can I get in there? Oh, there it is. Alright. Give me a bag. How do I reach it? Uh, this way? There we go. Okay, I got it. Okay, let's just continue with the game now. <laughs> oh, that was a bit of a delay there. Uh, let me just run around here. Okay. Back to actual gameplay. Okay. Oh yeah, the cops aren't great shots, which is helpful. Uh, but if they're, like, close to you, you'll probably have some trouble. Uh, that's Celeste. The bag we're throwing here is not one of the ones we've just been collecting. That's the one that's part of the story. It looks the same, though. Okay, we don't want to go that way. There's, uh, enemies that way. I'm going to have a bit of a look around and see if I can spot another runner glyph. Off the roof. Yep, that counts. This looks very safe. <laughs> Having a little dangle. That's automatic, you can't decide whether to let go or not. Okay, there was supposed to be three bags in that level, and I only got two. Hmm. I'm going to focus on just continuing the story for now, but I guess I should probably go back and look for the others at some point. Say again, Officer Connors. Going to see Pope. Robert Pope. Taking a statement on that break-in last week? Yeah, anyways, it's, uh, 56 West Arlen Drive. Tell Lieutenant Miller. Copy that. I'll relay the message, Officer Connors. Thanks. Connors out. Hello, sis. You there, kiddo? Hey, Mark. I bet you're listening to the chatter. You know me. We'll try and get some sleep. It's been a rough day. Gonna put the word out tomorrow. See why those blues got itchy trigger fingers. I'll drop by later, okay? And don't chuck that pizza. I like the topping Matured. for sure. Yeah, I know. See you, Mark. Shots fired. Repeat, shots fired. All units proceed to 56 West Arlen Drive immediately. Proceed with caution. Kate! Where are you? Kate, where are you? Hey. Merc. You off? Just get on comms and track me. Yeah, we want to make sure that Kate is okay. West Darlington, 5.21am. Well, you'd like to tell me where there is and what the hell you're doing, feel free. It's my sister. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna see if I can figure out what's going on. Give me a sec. Okay, we're back in gameplay mode. You see a little tiny reticle in the center of the screen? That does not show up during cutscenes. So that's a bit of a hint as to whether I'm playing or not. Also, like, if Faith is just doing normal things and not, like, looking around for hidden stuff, then probably it's a cutscene. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh... Oh, right, I forgot about this. That's an electric fence. See? Warning high voltage. Don't want to touch that. Uh, so you can't vault over it because it is indeed an electric fence. Instead, you have to make your way around here in order to get high enough to jump over it without touching it, like so. Okay. I uh, really want to make sure I don't miss any bags, but I know I've already missed one, so I guess I won't worry about it too much. The game probably flows better if I just focus on running anyway. Drake 
says there's been some heat on West Arland. Pope's place. I guess that's where you're headed, but be careful. I'll tell him what's going on there. It's a barbed wire fence, which we also can't vault over. We can touch it, though. Because below the barbed wire is just regular fence, which is completely safe. You know he was running for mayor, right? Finally, someone who could actually make a difference in this place. Use E to interact with the buttons like in this elevator. Actually, with various objects and valves in the game. Give it a little whack. Yeah, face sort of punches the buttons. Cutscene time. Kate? What are you doing here? What happened? Did you? No! You don't recognize him? Should I? It's Robert. Robert Pope? Friend of Dad's? Shit, that Pope. He called me. We hadn't talked much since I joined up. He had a break-in last week. He's still a campaigner. Don't you read the news? It's not news anymore. It's advertising. He was running for mayor. So the break-in must have really spooked him then. That's what I thought. But it was odd. He told me about the break-in, asked me to come, then asked after you. Really? I haven't seen him for at least ten years. Anyway, he was alive when I got here. Just sitting at his desk, writing. Everything went black. When I came to, he'd been shot. And I'm pretty sure it's with my gun. There was a book on the desk. A diary. It was gone. I'm sure there was someone else in the building. Left my radio in the car. Haven't had time to phone it in. Come on. Come with me. I'll take you somewhere safe. This isn't the time to run. I'm not like you. Running will just make me look guilty. You think this was an accident, Kate? There are no accidents in this city. Someone wanted him dead and wanted you to take the fall. Help me, Effie, please. You've got contacts. There's got to be more to this. Something he knew. Something he wanted to tell me. I can't get involved in this, Kate. You know what I do. I just great. Can't. Blue's incoming, Faith. You might want to be outgoing right about... Oh, now. I'll see what I can do. If this goes down badly, find Lieutenant Miller, my superior. Take anything you find to him. I'm serious, Faith. Remember, they're not playing nice. Get out of there. Now go! And Faith... Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, Robert Pope is, Pope is a little bit dead. Shit. Also, yeah, uh, we got problems. Squad swarming on you, Faith. Find a way out of there. You want to keep going this way? Sometimes the platforming can be a little bit janky, but it's a it's a good game that I like. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, I think I watched with this vent for a little while. Ah. 
and we're out. Okay, that's our first death. We fell a little too far there. We slide our way down here. Yeah, um, you respawned very quickly, thankfully, so it's not a huge deal if you decide to go look for, for secrets and happen to fall off a building. Okay, I'm just gonna go for a little slide here. A little bit of a slide, there we go, jump. Gentle. Okay, we have momentum. momentum. Oh, let's go. Find that one. Fold over this one. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yep. We're gonna wanna keep running. You might be able to hear the saying do not run, but we're gonna run. We're gonna run a lot. Also, we're gonna grab this. One of the three bags in this level. Oops. Okay, uh, let's just try that one more time. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I do make the occasional mistake here and there. Bag stay collected. I wasn't sure if it did or not. As long as we keep moving, we should be fine. Just uh, never stay still ever. Basically. Okay, okay. There's the CEC News building. We're gonna get there. Okay, there's some cops. Not gonna go that way. Go this way. <laughs> and then we're gonna dash into the elevator and thereby trick the cops. Thankfully, these are apparently bulletproof, so we will not have a problem. Up we go. Yeah, you can breathe out. Damn, what a mess. Can't believe Pope's gone. Shit, man, this damn city. So you know I'm out. Well, you sure opened a can of worms on this one. Take the bridge across the avenue and head for Centuria Plaza. Picking up squad cars moving in on you. You ain't got much time. Some air 
in your lungs and run faith. You don't want to know what's behind your faith, just keep running. Should be an exit off the rail overpass in the plaza ahead. Krieg's heading to the other side to get down. That's great. <laughs> you did good, Faith. No word on what's got the blues so trigger happy, but I'll keep on it. And um, don't worry about your sis, okay? We'll fix it. And that's probably enough for now. I'll, I'll try this cutscene just in case it doesn't play next time. Mark Slayer, 7:01 a.m. Something's got somebody rattled, kiddo. I don't know what it is, but they're mighty jittery. Hey, Sal. Take long to lose them? Nah, those blues can't move for shit. They've gotten a little gun happy, though. Wires are fizzing about Pope's murder. Blue traffic is up. Way up. Don't know what's got into them. Must be contract renewal time. Be careful out there, Sal. So why all the heat? Our girl's been lifting evidence from a crime scene. Now every cop in the city seems to be after her. That the evidence you lifted? Yeah, I think it's from a diary. Rest of it was gone. All I can make out are Icarus, maybe, and to the highest. Icarus? Wasn't he the Greek guy? Yeah, his dad made him some wings out of feathers and wax. Then the boy flew too close to the sun. And pssst, no more wings, no more Icarus. If anyone's heard anything, then you know who it'll be, Faith. Yeah? I know he ain't a runner anymore, but he's got contacts. You can't avoid him forever. Wanna bet? Who? Jackknife. Drake's got a location on Jackknife. He's on some rooftops at the old runner training ground near the storm drains. Roots crawling with blues, though. Okay, so... We're gonna do this next time, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um... I haven't got a lot to say for parts of this game, because it, it's just, you know, I've just got to do the running. Do the, do the faith thing. Um, I will demonstrate, uh, if we go back to the menu now, we have a play chapter option. Uh, we can go back to any area and just rerun it and find the bags and stuff. Um, I don't know if I'll just go do that off camera to make sure I get all the bags, but... Uh, probably next time we'll just go ahead and continue with the next chapter. But yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!